so I have uh, two, two, two boxes, Milwaukee branded. Uh, this is the 40 inch uh, stainless steel top. Stainless steel top, and then I got a 36 inch uh, bottom and top with the the little chest thing up there or whatever. So I'm not a fan of toolbox tours that are just like silent, but um, I already had the time to go through everything um, and then rearrange it right now. So I'm gonna go against my my own preference and give a just a, a quick look in the box. Um, I'll just kind of talk in general terms about what's in there without moving stuff around. So we'll just pull out this one. Bunch of uh, pliers and screwdrivers and you know circuit testers and what have you. So yep, we'll just uh, like wire strippers and CV boot clamps. Yep. So this is this is that box right there. Or this drawer right here. We'll move over here. I got some stuff on top. Um, a couple of the the manuals for my car and uh, a couple other books and stuff. Got some scan tool stuff right here that I haven't put away yet. Easy intake bladders more screwdrivers and what have you carbide bits um, I really like this vessel screwdriver for those JIs it's probably one of the most commonly used for the Honda rotor screws and then I like I like these ones I have a set that's that you know you can rotate the handle some spill funnel thing right there but yeah screwdrivers and uh, punches I guess and whatever is under here um, mini torque screwdriver oh, but that's that and then we'll pull out this jar it looks like a healthy mess but it uh it's what I have to work with right now I know this set of wrench is my most unorganized set and I just threw it in here a tecton set a Tecton set there and a Sonix. Where is it? Tecton. What's this? Yeah, Tecton. Uh, not drivers. Some clamps. You got like, you got a loose set of wrenches, and then you got an actual set below there, and then you got a, a set of uh, angled ones right beat there. Some hose clamps. Some angled Easy Red. You know, some butterfly sockets. Some of these Mueller caps line wrenches. Some S wrenches. Some moon wrenches. Some longer ones, some bigger ones, you know. Um, this is this is easy to move without. Yeah, there's the angled ones. Pretty nice set. Uh, there you go. I just don't want to move stuff because then stuff kind of fits in the place they're in, and I don't want to have to deal with trying to organize stuff. So I'll just do a, a wide view. But this is a. Kind of organized, unorganized in a sense, but I kind of know what I have for the most part. Um, it all looks new because it's relatively new. Um, and I don't really work on anything that's junky or dirty. And if I do, I clean my stuff up afterwards. You got these, I believe they're a mountain. Actually, Easy Red. These uh, spline drive ones. But that's that. And you can hear stuff touching as I slide it back in. And none of the drawers get any better. See, I got a uh, bunch of uh, Baco, some Mueller kept stuff, some host clamp, some Wera. You got this one with a hammer. Um, some Sonic slow bit set. Uh, this is a Genius, I believe. I got that, and then I got the, you can see below it, I got the Impact ones, a bunch of Baco, some Wera. Some uh, Mueller cap stuff, some magnetic test lead stuff. I try to pull these draws, you gotta pull them out. Some Irwin stuff in there, some smaller little ratchets there. Um, 
pre wobbles some of these uh speed handles i got all three sizes right here so this is the half inch quarter and three eighths so pretty packed got some fuse things right there a little knife right here by what's that brand yep keep these little pockets that those little packets in here to help with moisture i'm actually gonna buy them i typically keep them from products i buy but i think i'm gonna buy a bag or something of them just to stash in here you know help with moisture but yeah step back big overall view it's a lot of random tools hand tools oh here's a here's that uh ast sorter and clamp and then you got a mapco one right there and i do have so this one is pretty cool because you can clamp it onto something. So it's magnetic. So it will just, it will stay magnetized to whatever right there. And then if you don't have an option to magnetize it, you can actually clamp it in place. So I thought that was pretty cool. I saw. Um, yeah, I don't want to be moving a lot of stuff around. Um, this is pretty cool. This is an automatic adjusting um, vice grip. Got it from laser tools but yeah um, we'll close it stuff will touch you can hear it <clears throat> and then we'll come down here <clears throat> again this drawer gets deeper but uh i'm not going to remove everything in there i got some more that's like a that was, sae half inch flank drive damage bolt biter you got these uh terminal kit uh, for back probing, what, I don't know what brand this is, but some, uh, oh, this is Steelman, Steelman, uh, what do you call this, extension, you got the little, so this is supposed to be magnetized, so if you have a socket that's not magnetized, these little, they have the magnetized tip on them, on all of them, like this little quarter inch, you can see it has a little magnetic tip on it, I haven't really used it, so I can't attest to it. You got your three-piece Mueller caps kit. I got my Easy Red. Is it Easy Red? Let's see. I said I wasn't gonna move stuff, but I'm starting to move stuff. Uh, memory saver, Easy Red memory saver. I'm always like disconnecting my stuff without hooking it up. Probably because I had to come down in here and remove stuff, so it's probably easier for me to just find the code and reinsert it in my NAV system. Uh, extra long ball Torx. What is this? Uh, Seven piece wheel stud thread restorer. What's below that? Some um, SP tools, uh, hose block off, whatever thing. I got this little sleeve right here. So if you had to put your hands in a warm engine, some relay bypass. These uh, PW, people call them PWZ, but they're like made by this company, Baco. But I, I keep saying PWZ because I watch everyone's toolbox and that's what they call the snap-on version PWZ, but they seem pretty nice. I got several set of these. Um, I picked up this Husky set over Christmas and I actually use it to replace my uh, key fob battery. Looks like I got a, what do I have below here? Combination Stethoscope, Stethoscope, Stethoscope? You know, whatever, Stethoscope. Man, I can't pronounce that to save my life right now. But I'm set. Some more punches down there. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's, these are like some, I don't know. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I got my, what do you call it, Lang AC tester in this um, Harbor Freight Pelican case. And then this uh, thread tra chaser, which I do have different bits for. Right here, the extra bits I keep in here. And just this little, OTC thread chaser set, need the extra ones. So, oh, come on, go down there. Is it gonna be too tall? Yeah, why is it not going all the way down? Kinda of annoying. There we go. That's why I don't wanna mo mooch stuff too much because then I can't fit it back in here. Um, as you can see, I mean, this draw is, you know, yay thick and you're just seeing stuff on top. I got this, uh, mini oscilloscope set digital storage oscilloscope ds213 
Uh, yeah, I don't want to be taking stuff out. Because then I can't fit it back. Well, I can. It's just going to be annoying right now. Close that one. And there you go. Stuff is starting to hit. There's a science to it. And the last one. I mean, I got on the floor two Har Harbor Freight Super Duty 3-ton jack. Um, I have them. They're actually numbered. Yep. This is the first one I bought. This is the second one. I think I need to bleed this, this one because it's kind of slow going up. So I, I need to bleed it. But this is the second one I bought. And I use them quite a bit. Um, they don't look dirty, but that's because they're relatively new. I've kind of waited until they came on sale and I bought them. Uh, but I do like these. Uh, they're pretty sturdy, pretty beefy. And we go down here. And like I said, it doesn't get any better. I got the magnetic mount for my uh, my test indicator. I got a digital micrometer. And these are all Metabo, so pretty quality brand. Um, digital micrometers. Um, I've talked about this Chapman set, this Wakeon, whatever, squelp tester. These larger um, Easy Red or whatever. This is a radiator blowout set. You got your Mueller cap scrapers, my flare camera. Monster, um, I think these are like wrenches or not wrenches, but um, I forgot what you call them. And then these are my platinum thin wrenches. You got my whatever thing here, you know what it is, it's like wrapped around and like right here. Starter, remote starter, and I can tape this up without disturbing too much. Oh, a spring tool right there. And then you got like stuff below that. You got a set of wrenches right there. Kind of hiding, probably SAE to be honest, or offset metric. Uh, what else I got in here? A little coolant tester. Uh, yeah, what I have in this this case right here. I'm not gonna really pull it out. I do know I have a slide hammer set in the back. I think it's an OTC slide hammer, 10 piece or something. But yeah, pretty solid. I mean, this draw, I mean, there you go. You can tell it's pretty th it's pretty deep. It's the deepest one of, the, of them all. So it has a lot in there. So we'll close this up. And then uh, I typically just uh, slide these, slide these under here, slide these up against it. Um, try to get it, back, get it out straight, nice in place. There we go. So they just stay right there. I got two glove holders from Harbor Freight and all that. Uh, come up here, my 27 gallon DeWalt air compressor. It's uh, hooked up to a black, black bowl. I think it's a 300 feet, three eighths. Yep, three eighths um, line that goes up to 300 PSI and then it just stays right there. Um, what else? Obviously some more woodwork and stuff, but this is where I keep the handles for my my uh, jack and some pry bars and stuff. I got an engine stand over there somewhere in that mess and my uh, Bronic spring compressors over there. I don't really use that stuff often. What else? On the side here, I got some lights. You got that light. Got some cleaning for my hand. You got some spill cloth right there. And then I got that light and that light right there. Sorry, I'm just showing you all awkward angles because I don't want to put a bucket of, uh, what's that called? Like cleaning towels. Uh, I got my uh, jump charger here from NOCO. Or not jump charger, but it's like a recharge your battery, whatever. But I also got that uh, WBC 275 right there for, you know, heavier duty stuff. Not automotive, but yeah, sorry, the light is blinding, but my Delta drill press right here, just 
right there. So we'll move over here. Some stuff I got on the side. I got these really large OEM wrenches, a hub shocker, some um, some brass punches in, in here. And I believe these boxes have like additional casters. So I I did change out the my garage is pretty small, so I kind of work with as much space as I have. So the casters on these I on these DeWall set they came with a um, four casters two are like fixed and two are swivel so i changed out the fixed ones for swivels just so i can back it into tighter places well uh we're not going to be able to go up top I, I mean my smoke machine is right here my smoke pro um got my whatever holder right here additional accessories for my smoke machine and all that stuff right there little projects that i'm working on are my drill that i got to put back together and i see with some um what do you call those things? You can see, but I gotta put that drill back together. Uh, horror freight. What do you call this? Or well, whatever nut and bolt holders right here. But I also got, sorry, I'm showing you through the spokes of the bicycle that's hanging right here, kind of in the way. But these easy red holders, I got one in the car for something I'm working on. I like these little lights by Moxion. I got two of those. And then I got a bunch of bits that I just put right there in a Nico holder. Um, pretty tight, tight tolerances here. I got this towel holder, but I have my towels in a box right now, so I don't really use it. I don't have the ability to open this because there's a lot of stuff in the way. Two bikes. That's just a lot of stuff stuffed in here. So we'll just go back to the silent tour or semi-silent. This is uh, really what people call their junk drawer, but this really is just like replacement parts for, or just small pieces that I don't wanna lose. I got my touch of paint right there for the cars. This thing is for the Harbor Freight um, cross beam jack. You got some Leatherman's right there, tire pressure gauge. These uh, power probe or, yeah, power probe for testing like, you know, your car cigarette lighter or USB and stuff. I got all three of them. So hubs, my hub and bull shocker kit, uh, stickers. This is for cleaning. EGR port. So I need to get around to doing that. Uh, cordless circus tester, but this is like miscellaneous, you know, stuff that I keep in baggies and stuff. And I got, you know, here we go, brake bleeder, because I have one nice cross threaded time and tensioner, lock and pin, some uh, syringes for like, you know, getting stuff in tight places, some battery protector, whatever thing, just bits and pieces, really. So that's that top one. We'll uh, go down here. Again, a lot of moving parts, scissors and hood clamps and like little battery, ba battery packs scissors more scissors these are really nice because it has all the different sizes you can find out what a nut or bolt is um, a little spark plug Mueller cat thing so you don't like drop the spark plug in there um, this thing right here is a uh, parasitic draw from Lyle I got the original super scrapers as you can saw I had Mueller cat super scrapers some uh, some chalk or whatever paint. So when you mark like time and belt or something or something you need to mark. Uh, let's see, headlamp, all that stuff. Gauge, um, whatever. I do like these little things by, uh, I'm not sure who makes them. By Swiss Tools. I'm trying to focus it, but it's not really focusing. The part number is 8129. 9-45. I like these for moving the covers on my engine compartment. They have those little nuts. Here's my only, out of all the tools I have, here's my only snap-on tool. It's a flip socket set. I got it on eBay. Um, I know CTA makes one, but this is the only snap-on tool I have. And uh, if it stays that way, I don't mind. Uh, thread depth, all that stuff. A little thing for testing, for, for making a ground. Uh, test light, 
Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. Feeder gauges in here from Lang. I got a lot of stuff in here. And this little draw. Oh, these, uh, here's another um, pretty cool thing. And if you need to lower, pick up a bolt or lower it in place, you can attach it, hold it in place and get it going. Super scraper right here, the very thin one. Yeah, Let's keep close that. And then down here, Husky set. I picked it up at one Christmas from Home Depot. They come on sale every Christmas. Pretty, pretty solid set. I haven't used it because I have additional like extensions as you'll see later on, probably too much. And these are Astro pneumatic. I've definitely used these when I was doing uh, my time about water pump stuff, getting to those smaller areas. I've reviewed these uh, ASD specialty things, but basically you thread them on like your, what do you call it, ball joint, and you were able to use your air hammer, air hammer on these little divots and pop them out. Uh, you need this if you deal with stubborn uh, rotor screws on Hondas. I think Hondas are known for rotor screws and for uh, permanent balancer being tight so you need these for those rotor screws so I got a lot of these uh, astral pieces uh, yep and that's that we'll come over here to the top again a lot of miscellaneous pieces I see looking through the camera I see my vessel impact half inch impact driver some razor scrapers I got a lot of lights right here tucked away in the back Little blades, some little clamps I got from Harbor Freight for like time and belt. You know, what else? Scrapers, um, wire brushes for brakes, um, brake, brake tester, brake fluid tester. These uh, hose, these uh, hangers, brake hangers. As you can see, I have these two taped up because uh, these are the bendable ones. I was using them when I was spraying my brake calipers. I didn't want to get all gunked up with paint. Um, but yeah. A lot of little nicks and nanny nannies here. We'll close that and we'll come down here. Random screwdrivers. So these are I got a lot of screwdrivers. These aren't even my primary. I just picked up these little pry bars, pocket pry bars, and I've used them several times already. Comes in this three-piece set. Uh, got some little pry tool over there. I got a whole set, but those are convenient. But also tools, they're in here, gear wrench. And uh, here is a second, uh, looks like I got two of these Swiss tools um, pieces. I got two small ones and yeah, put it back. I hate moving stuff because then I have to figure out how to put it back. Then I got a bigger one. So it comes in really handy and it's nice. I believe I got one from Turkey, to be honest. That's pretty cool. Uh, yep, come in there for miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, we come down here when I'm doing like oil changes and brakes and stuff. You know, I got my gauges here. I got two sets. Like, this is metal. This is plastic. You know, cut in lines. This is one of my go-to tools. That's why I sitting on top. This little prime tool. I got it on Amazon. There's some stuff down here that's magnetic, so it's sticking. Uh, what else? This uh, Vim 17, whatever millimeter, 17, 14 millimeter. I use it for my oil drain plug. Um, some brass punches, some brake files, brake files, brake files. These little thongs or whatever, say that right. Yeah, some oil filter wrenches in the back. A little Sonix, I think, or gear wrench, I think, bit set. You know, some host clamp stuff, um, break wind back tools. Um, this is pretty nice. When you're changing an oil, when you're changing your oil and it's hot, once you get the bolt um, loosened up, you just attach this to it. The tip right there is magnetized and you just kind of twist it off and it doesn't burn you. I have that one, I have a bigger set. This uh, Philo screwdriver thing but yeah just random little bits and pieces i go in there for i bet i have pieces that i don't uh, i don't remember 
All right, so you think everything else was crazy? Well, this is crazy. I probably don't even get the full functionality, but this drawer has a top here that you can use as a work surface, which is pretty cool, but pliers, so. I don't have a very effective way to store my pliers, and these are just a fraction of what I have, but they stay in here. Um, let's see, bunch of uh, Nipex and Vampire and you name it, it's in here, but it's a lot. I said I wasn't gonna talk about this. So this is where the top half meets the bottom half. The only stickers I have on my stuff is these Steelman. And I might take them off because it feels like it's peeling. Like a little, I only have two of them on there. And the only reason I put them on is because they're kind of metallic or some sort, so. Here's my sockets. This is one drawer that I wanna revisit as far as like you know think about it and buy the appropriate stuff i need but most of these are literally a husky set that came on sale during christmas it was 100 bucks and i they had two remaining and it went, finally went down to like 69.99 and i picked it up with a bunch of like sockets 12 points and six points i got a lot of uh ingersoll ran power sockets back there Supposedly they're really good, like the 19 millimeter for those Honda Hormanic Balancer. Apparently it adds 50% more. So I picked up all of them. I got the original Honda crank bolt holding tool, um, some cheap sockets, some turbo sockets. Um, I got some, the gear wrench, what do you call these? Bolt biter or whatever, half inch and, not half inch, quarter inch and three eighths. And I do have the half inch set now got some wobbles in here but i do want to visit this and make sure i got you know all the appropriate sizes half um three eighths and a quarter inch in both long mids and short whether it's magnetic not magnetic chrome versus impact wobble non-wobble and i got a little stubby ones here i've used them yeah but this draw is you know i got some adapters over there this, I mean, it has everything I use. I mean, typically the one I commonly use is just really this for my for my lug nuts. So it just stays in there. It's actually a complete set. Um, so this sleeve kind of protects my lug nuts. And then I do, I do have a your standard 19 millimeter in here that I removed from my Tekkon set. So those, those stay there, I guess. But as this is one draw where I want to revisit it and get everything you know, situated, but in time. Extensions for days. You know, I got the Lang punches, um, a lot of like breaker bars, different sizes, wrench extender by Mueller Kebs, Mayhew Dominators, just extension upon extensions upon extensions. Uh, yeah, too much to to go through our reposition right now. I know this is a serpentine belt tool to help you assist it down there. Some long harbor for screwdrivers. Um, I got a Mayhew or Milwaukee pry bar set, but I haven't used it. I've seen people say it's like weak. Some magnet, some easy red magnet pickup tool. But yeah, and this is the the tip of that uh, crank bolt holder. I'm saying that right, but. You can hear it touching. Yep, packed. Uh, more extensions here. These are pretty nice. These are the Steelman extensions. You got a Wera um, 3H1 sitting right here. Rotary head. All these like extensions right there. We'll kind of come back in big picture. So I tend to keep half inch, three eighths, and then a quarter inch. Looks like I got a lot of quarter inch stuff. I do, and I got some nut drivers here, but I got a lot of quarter inch stuff. Um, and then my uh, my torque wrenches are in the back. You know, people say leave them in the case, but uh, they don't get beat up that much sitting here, so they stay in there. I got my Craftsman gear wrench, three eighths and a half, and then I got a smaller non-electronic gear wrench below there somewhere. There's a unique ratchet in here that I was trying to, uh, can't really see it right now. 
Anyway, a lot of chrome <laughs> blinding, but ratchet wrenches extension. It looks like I got a, a set of gear wrench scrapers down there. They're red. Uh, and honestly, I'll come in here for a ratchet and I'll be like looking like, uh, which one should I grab? So many. And again, I don't have any name brand like the big three in here. It's just usable brands. And I don't really have much Pittsburgh either. So it's like medium branded, I guess. I don't know. Wrenches, again, stacked up on each other. Blind in, you see the light, you know. They're like, oh man, these aren't even used because they're glistening. You got an SK in the green down there. These were discontinued by Astro. Some uh, CV Axle Tool, SK again. Just a lot of wrenches. And people call this the money draw, but it's a draw. <laughs> a lot of my Milwaukee tools are just sitting down there, half inch, three eighths, you know, three eighths stubby. Um, these new ones, half inch stubby, whatever. My, my Metabo, whatever tester down there, caliper. Lang Wineback Tool, Steelman Pro Chassis Ear, Steelman Gauge, little blowgun for siphoning fluid, um, heater adapter there. Yeah, I would. I just I just picked up these to help, you know, so I don't get oil on the subframe, which will probably help with rusting, but. I uh, haven't used them yet. Next oil change. Brass hammer, dead blow hammer, mallet right here. Yeah, it's in here. That's the bottom one. So yeah, that's uh that's just my uh my two toolboxes. I won't uh, embarrass myself by showing you guys everything else in this garage because it will be overly excessive and probably one of the most impressive sites out there but uh, or should I uh, where should I start yeah I'm probably not good I mean you can see my my quick jack on the wall here There's some ladders there and some some cases um, magnetic pickup tool right here i like this uh tecton thing because i can use it to depress my brakes and go check the lights so that stays hanging there um but yeah we're just gonna call it quits for then and uh get back to it i got some work to do but yeah i mean this is my my toolbox two toolbox all the hard cases, I mean, you notice you haven't seen any hard cases or anything, except for a few small ones, you know, in, in the bottom here. But most of the bigger boxes like you're seeing right here, they are all on the sidewall over there, uh, which I do have quite a bit of those. So they're good for organize, organizing stuff, but they just stay in the cases because I don't really have room for that. Um, this uh, extension thing was uh, from Harbor Freight. The, the thing on it sounds cheap when you flip it on and off. Seems like you're going to electrocute yourself, but it's been working so far. I got these, uh, what do you call these? Tree bus tools. Some people think they're gimmick. I haven't really put them to a use yet, but they seem cool. It's kind of, to be honest, it's kind of disappointing that the next set, that the set that goes from like 8 or whatever up to 19, is only offered on a tr tool truck. So that's how they're gonna do that, um, I guess. I mean, not everyone, I think there's, uh, for the, the mechanics out there or the DIYers, there's probably a lot more DIYers than there is mechanics. So if that's how they're gonna do their business, that's fine. But I guess you can always get stuff from a tool truck to uh, support those guys or whatever the case is. But it kind of sucks that you can't just pick it up online. So I picked this up on, online. And I also got the O2 sensor um, socket somewhere around here. But anyway, like me always say, um, 
like, comment, don't hit the team.